January 6th commission criminal referrals issued. Is this the end of Trump? The January 6th Select House Committee, in a unanimous vote Monday, referred former President Donald Trump to the Department of Justice for Criminal Investigation and potential prosecution for his efforts to overturn his loss in the 2020 election. The committee's historic referral says there is a sufficient evidence to refer Trump for four crimes, obstructing an official proceeding, conspiracy to defraud the government, making knowingly and willfully materially false statements to the federal government, and inciting or assisting an insurrection. While addressing fellow panel members, Representative Jamie Raskin said, quote, we propose to the committee advancing referrals where the gravity of the specific offense, the severity of its actual harm, and the centrality of the offender to the overall design of the unlawful scheme to overthrow the election compel us to speak, end quote. While the Justice Department, which is already conducting an investigation of Trump, takes criminal referrals seriously, it is not obligated to charge anyone with a crime. The nine-member panel is composed of seven Democrats and two Republicans, Representative Liz Cheney of Wyoming and Adam Kinzinger of Illinois. Cheney was defeated in the GOP primary earlier this year, losing to Representative-elect Harriet Hageman. While Kinzinger did not select, uh, did not seek re-election this year. So, you know, I was watching the news. I constantly keep the news on, right? Like, you know, just behind the scenes, like a local news uh, station. And then this came through, right? And it was like, and I was like, wow, okay, good. He's finally going to pay for everything that he's done. And my wife, you know, the realist, right? It's like, he's not going to get charged with anything. Mm, They are not going to punish him at all. He's not going to serve one day. What do you boys think about that? I, I, I am. Take a, a breath. No, I, I can't get excited anymore because I've been let down so often, you know, and, you know, nothing sticks to this man. Uh, yeah. If he's going to get charged, it will not be anything political. However, yeah. the man has run so many. Uh, he has now do- a very well documented trail of financial and other business related crimes. Whether those can stick and whether those will put him in jail will be a different story. And also, uh, I believe the House Committee is releasing his, debating to whether he release his tax returns, which We're is still now- on those damn tax returns? Mm-hmm. Weren't we waiting for those since today, he was, in, since he was actually just, president? The House Committee yeah. finally just got them, and they're voting today oh on whether to release them. Okay. I do mean, but okay, but am I like crazy Fred or something? Like, he just announced that he's going to get, he's going to ask for the bid to run for president again. He can mm-hmm. still do that with all this investigation well, happening? the charges that are brought against him, this is the first time that this was brought against anyone since the Civil War. Um, so we are living in historic times, so it's very hard to say whether, and it's it's unclear whether he'd actually be allowed to run. It says you cannot hold office if you're convicted of these crimes, but it does not say if you can run for office. So of course, as with most things with Trump, there's a huge gray area. Yeah. Um, I do think the end of Trump, um, you know, Mitch McConnell, for what you may or may not think of him, you know, he says few words, mm. um, but he did state yesterday, um, we all know who's responsible for January 6th. So again, that's as about as full-throated as you're going to get from a Republican, and he's the leader of the Senate um, for the Republicans yeah. um, coming out against Trump. So, Unfortunately, we're mm. facing a wall of diehard supporters and primary voters who are loyal to Trump. The primary voters are the ones who propel people like MTG or you know, uh, mm. and uh, Laura, whatever her name is, in Over. Colorado. Yeah. Colorado. Those people get into power because of Trump, of base Trump supporters. And as the base getting more and more radical as moderates leave, you're going to have, you know, his his base of support will grow. But worse is what I think is the Trump effect. The ultimately worst thing is Trump is so bad that anything else would look reasonable. The sentence is just as bad. Yeah. At the, his no, just as even, bad. He's worse because yeah, he's smarter. I'm super he's afraid of DeSantis. Worse I take for... Trump before DeSantis. If I had to choose between them, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, DeSantis is more organized. He's even mm-hmm. smarter for me. He knows how to build it up and act normal around the parents, right? You know what I, yeah. mean? I mean? Where Trump, you can, know, can't be trusted. You have to go sneak in his ear. Mm-hmm. Hey, that person's that person. Don't say this, this, and that. You know, where DeSantis is, is just realer and scarier, especially mm-hmm. for our community. He has a plan. He has a plan to decimate the LGBTQ plus community, and he's going to do it just to score political points. And Trump does. Trump is all bombastic. You know, he needs people like Stephen Miller behind the scenes twirling the evil mustache. Mm. But the well, sentence doesn't need that. The sentence is the evil mustache on his own. <laughs> 
Uh, I think I think it'll be interesting, and um, I think we are living in historic times. So let's let's hope for the best. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.